guys welcome back to a new video today we i will be coding um, html in the language in notepad and we will make a calculator so if you are wondering where i got inspired from my friend made a video on reacting to it and he made it and i got inspired thinking maybe this series is a good series so i am going to continue this cal this calculator will be in three parts um i release the next part maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow so first you create the file i've already done that because you already know how since the last video and then i need to make a greater than bracket exclamation mark doc type in all caps HTML and smaller than mark and then I write HTML in the HTML we write body style equals to background color and make that gray I'm going to choose gray this time because I didn't like the old one honestly and slash body and now um, I may, oh yeah I didn't save it file save and now it will be gray so I didn't tell you one thing last time was how to change this it says video.html for me for me it's, it's it might say something else for you but the end part will be .html and then I need so if i want to change that i need to write it in a tag called the head tag so the head tag is so in the head tag it's saying that on this part on this top part over here i want to make changes to this part so in the head part we need to write the title tag because the whatever is written here is the title so i'm just going to write title and since we're making a calculator, I'll I'll write the cal. Uh, I mean, I'll write the title as cal calculator. So this video, I'll try to make as short as possible. And then now we, I'm just going to make the UI for this video. It's quite simple. So in the body, as you know, we write. So this time we're going to need to create something called an input. And make its type so input type basically determines which type of input now since it's a calculator we want a number input as you can see when I do when I save and refresh it you'll find this and in this you can enter any number you want so now we've so now we want some background text to be in it it's called a that's called a placeholder so in the placeholder i can write number one goes or just number one as you can see oh my god i keep on forgetting to save it as you can see wait there's some error in it um yeah please i just wrote place placeholder now it's going to show number one here so we want another so i'm just going to copy this and paste it here and instead of number one i'm going to name this number two. Oh yeah i keep on forgetting to save it oh my god okay so now we have two numbers um the videos i'm going to end it like in just two minutes so we need to create some buttons after this so i'm going to create a button a button is a button i don't have much time to explain that and in the button tag i'm going to write add and i'm going to copy this a few times Control c v so i'm going to copy this four times make this subtract add subtract uh, multiply and last of all 
divide save it also one minute okay so now we've got all of this and now I so last time now it's going to come in use so P result yes. from what time last time I told you I'm going to write P result and then inside the P I'm going to create another P tag you'll see why and the P tag will just be nothing in there for now I mean so that's basically all the UI has to be honestly and that's it we've completed the whole UI and since last time I also told you some properties that you can use you can use it for this P tag and make it look better font family and all of that and that's it for this video next video we will start giving IDs and we will also start JavaScript. So, bye.